Hey guys, you are here with my channel that is economics at a glance. So guys, as all of you know that perfect competitive market got over. Today we will start the next market that is imperfect market. And the first one coming in imperfect market is monopoly market. Yes, right? Okay, so today we will start what is monopoly market. Okay, let me tell you this is the 37th lecture. Okay. 37th lecture that means already we have covered 36 lectures in the microeconomics if you have still not visited those videos you can easily to access to that through the playlist i have mentioned in the description box okay so let's get started guys what is exactly the monopoly market okay before moving to what happened in monopoly market let's just give a brief view on the characteristics of monopoly market so first characteristic is single seller. I have told you in monopoly that means mono single poly that is seller. It came, it came from a Greek word. See it came from a Greek word that is mono plus polos. Mono means single polos means seller. Okay. So as here only one seller is there it is called as monopoly. Clear? Next is no close substitute. But that means that particular product is only available with that seller only. Everyone cannot have that. Okay. Only one person is having that means he can charge anything. Yes or no? Only one seller has that particular product means he can charge any price according to his wish. Yes or no? That is why the monopoly market, sorry, monopoly or a single seller Everyone is a price maker. Price maker means they can make any price according to their wish. Not exactly wish, according to their profit scenario. Okay, but in case of perfect competitive market, what we have studied? In case of perfect competitive market, we have studied the sellers are price taker. Why taker? Because whatever price got fixed, they have to take it. But in this case, they are price maker. That means they will make price and charge price according to their profit. Okay. Next is restriction in entry and exit of farms. We cannot randomly entry to the market. As they are monopoly, they are single seller. They will not allow any market to enter into their market. Okay. So that is restriction in entry and exit of farms. But in case of perfect competitive market, there is free entry and exit of funds. We have studied that. Last one is the very important one. It is the sort question also for many exams. You can get in semester exam also, in competitive exam also. The unique feature that is price discrimination is happened in which market? That is monopoly market. What do you mean by price discrimination? See, discrimination means partiality. That means the same product. Suppose this duster. Okay. I will sell this to person A in 20 rupees. Person B in 40 rupees. Okay. That means I am discriminating the price between the consumers. That only happened in case of monopoly market. So this is a very important feature of monopoly market. That is called price discrimination. Well what it is we will discuss in the next video. No problem in that. But today just remember. Price discrimination is a feature of monopoly market. Clear? Now we will see. Just let me just rub this. Remember, mono means single, polos means seller. From the Greek word, the name came monopoly market. Okay, so what we have studied in case of perfect competitive market that, see I'm drawing here, that in perfect competitive market, this is the Demand curve, that is average revenue because I have told in case of market structure, average revenue curve is equal to the demand curve. So it was horizontal. Why? Because a very small change will affect the quantity demanded very highly. We have discussed in our previous lectures. But in case of monopoly, what happened? See, in case of monopoly, the demand curve will be downward sloping demand curve or average revenue curve 
it will be downward sloping another thing remember it should be less elastic okay the curve should be less elastic i have told you less elastic curve is little bit stiffer yes or no stiffer so this is the stiffer stiffer one so remember why it is less elastic i have told you the demand for monopoly market is less elastic but you can ask like why it is less elastic see uh, i have given you the example of monopoly market in the introductory classes what i have gave you the example is railway okay i am taking the same example see why it is less elastic less elastic means whether the price increase is larger amount or smaller amount that will be very less impact on the quantity demand yes or no so why this case happens here see taking an example of railway suppose railway increase the price let's say today sleeper coach price was uh, 250 okay but uh, this day onwards railway has increased it to 265 okay so what happened price has been increased means demand will decrease that means you will not want to go through railway so you are waiting for some more time where when the price will again decrease and you will go but you will increase you will wait wait but at the certain time you have to go because flight is much higher cost than the railway you have to prefer railway okay so you have to prefer means price is increased but still you are preferring this this is why it is less elastic getting the concept okay it is less elastic so average revenue curve you have now the thing you need to know that what is the curve of marginal revenue because our condition is mr equals to mc where we can get the optimum output condition yes or no i have told you where mr equals to mc there we can get optimum output ar we have that means we need to have mr curve c a marker how you will draw exactly in the middle this is called a mark remember this is also very important let me write it just a minute this is very important that in case of monopoly the slope of mr is greater than slope of average revenue by the amount twice okay that means slope of this mr curve is twice greater than the slope of ar curve that means it will lie exactly half lesser okay it has it has written that's why only why because the slope is twice greater twice greater means the slope will be downward in the same manner so remember when you are drawing ar curve average revenue curve just make it half okay and then draw the a marker and your average revenue and marginal revenue curve are red clear rest thing is how to draw marginal cost curve well let me tell you marginal cost for pocket competitive market monopoly market they are all same cost curve will not change only the curve will change in the case of revenue so average revenue marginal revenue we have found now we will go to at which condition we can get the optima output okay let me draw all this okay see what happened i have told you that ar a mark curve i have told you how to draw that now the condition is where to get the optimal output well we have already discussed how to get optimal output in the perfect competitive market now we will study in the case of monopoly how we will get the optimum output well what is optimum output optimum output is where we can get maximum profit and minimum loss get it okay let's start then how we can draw that see well there is two approach let me tell you first there is two approach just like perfect competitive market in perfect competitive market what i have told the two approach first one is yes very good total cost approach total cost approach second one is marginal cost approach 
okay and what i have told you like generally total cost approach is not preferred much generally in every condition we should prefer the approach that is called marginal cost approach okay but to know the thing very clearly i will let you know that exactly what happened in total cost approach and marginal cost approach you can write both of them but the exact condition which is actually preferred that is marginal cost approach okay just for knowledge sake i am including this part otherwise this part is enough for you okay so shall we start then okay see so in total cost approach what happened in case of monopoly we have seen what is the curve of average revenue and marginal revenue but in case of total cost approach what we have to use total return and total cost in case of perfect competitive market how it was like this yes a straight line was there and we have drawn this like total cost this was total return and this difference total return minus total cost is equals to profit yes so when the when this profit will be maximum that will be our optimal output condition simple yes or no so this is the way we have already found in case of perfect competitive market like where the profit is maximum we have found that point is the optimal output yes right so similar thing we also apply here see we will first draw the total return curve in case of monopoly market the return curve will be somewhat like this okay that means in case of monopoly initially the revenue will increase increase and increase but at a certain point when the profit will be maximum after that point for some period the profit decreases also when the newcomer will come it is not that like um, at no time no one will come every time there is some competitor is there okay so what happened but in general case we can take assume that if throughout the period the revenue is increasing okay and regarding the cost curve it will be just same as perfect competitive market how see it will be like the inverted s shape curve just like uh, we have used a total sorry perfect competitive market so what i have told total return minus total cost is equals to profit clear okay so now we will see the maximum difference point see the maximum difference point is this one yes or no this one is a maximum difference point or maximum profit point you can tell so this is a, this will provide our optimum output situation let me drag this to x axis so here is our q o q amount of quantity the producer need to produce fixed now we can get our optimal output level another thing let me tell you always try to find out the difference vertically the difference don't do like this uh, like many times i have found students are doing like this this is the maximum difference this is not because why this is not here some other output is there here some other output is there you cannot describe like this okay you have to find out at one output point what is the difference and where the difference is maximum so in this case you cannot find out for one output what is the profit yes or no for profit point you have to minus total return and total cost but in this case how can you minus so take it vertically okay don't do this mistake don't do it horizontally do it vertically okay clear so this is the total cost approach next we will start the marginal cost approach any doubt if you found any doubt in the total cost approach you can easily mention in the description box i am there to help you don't worry about any concept where, uh, where you are not getting okay so this is all about total cost curve approach then we will move to marginal cost curve approach see what happens here so as i have told you what is the average revenue curve it will be less elastic this is average revenue and exactly half this will be marginal revenue and as always this is your marginal cost fine so our condition
question is when the marginal cost is equals to marginal revenue that point is called as optimum output optimum output point so where mc is equals to mr at this point okay so this point if we will expand to x axis so o q amount of quantity is the optimum output to produce in case of monopoly market okay so this is your optimum output condition fine clear now we will study at which condition it will get profit in which condition it will get loss and what happens the rest cases in monopoly market okay see so guys we have already discussed what is the condition to get the optimal output next video i will come with the lecture that is only on how a monopoly market will get profit in which condition it will get loss yes monopoly is getting loss but in which condition this all points we will discuss in the next lecture till then stay with my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you